Hello, um, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use anti Sloan wax, um, but I just want to show you the two different finishes you can use. So we have the matte lacquer, which we're not going to be using today, but it's a very good finish. And then you have a clear wax. Again, this comes in four colours. So today we're using the clear, um, and we're prepping this to use the black wax later on as well. Okay. So we've painted this piece um, in Opasson. Um, I've waxed the top already. I'm going to wax around the, the legs. I'm going to do one single coat of clear wax because I'm going to put on some dark wax after I've done it. Um, you can do that by using the Annie Sloan wax brush or just a nice clean lint free cloth. It's got to be lint free so it doesn't leave any bits in the wax when you're doing it. So I'll start off by using the wax brush just so we can see how we're using it. It's a new brush so I'm going to get plenty on and then knock a bit off after I start moving it. goes on really easy and this nice short handle is very easy to put to use to, to brush so I put on a good coat of wax and I'm not going to finish this whole leg with the brush but I'm going to take off the excess with this cloth because that will go cloudy if I leave on too much so there's not too much on there I'm just going to rub it in and you can just apply it directly with the cloth so I'm going to rub some on with the cloth And I'm giving it a circular motion to make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies properly. And again, it's very important to wipe off the excess. And ideally, you don't want to do too big an area in one go and then forget to wipe off the excess, especially when it's warm. Um, it's not too bad on a day like this. It's quite cold today. Um, but you don't want it going off and start to cure while you're doing this. Now I've done that there now. I don't want to reapply a coat really until that's properly cured. We'll let that cure. On a day like this um, I'd leave it till tomorrow and I'd put another coat on. And if you want a shiny finish you buff it with a nice clean dry cloth. If you don't want a shiny finish just leave it as it is and it'd be matte. Um, this one here we're going to do something different but we'll show you that in another video. So that's us for today okay?